Hey guys, so iOS 17.3, this new software update has been available to the public over the past couple of days. And if you updated to iOS 17.3 and are having issues with getting through your entire day, the battery just isn't performing as you'd expect it. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a few settings you can actually change on your iPhone in order to improve the battery life of your device. Now, I know some of you guys are having good battery life, but some of you guys are not having such great battery life on your devices, especially on newer iPhones. Phones. Now, as I mentioned previously on some of my iOS 17.3 coverage, my battery life and experience on my iPhone just hasn't been the best. But I found a few options and settings you can change in order to improve battery life. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is privacy. So if we go into the privacy section right here, privacy and security. There's three options I want to talk about here. Number one is app tracking. If you have app tracking enabled for any app or enabled in general, I recommend you turn this option off. Therefore, no application will ask you or request to track in the future and no apps will track you moving forward if you turn all these options off. And I've noticed that this has improved the battery life on my iPhone while running iOS 17.3. Now again, jumping back into privacy here once again, I also want to talk about some different options available under location services. So if we scroll into location services right here and we scroll all the way to the bottom, you find the option down here, system services, tap into that, scroll all the way to the bottom once again. And there's four options here that I want to turn off. I want to go into significant location. It's going to ask you for face ID or the passcode. Once you enter, you can go in here and clear all history. Once you clear all history, you can also turn off significant location. So basically what this feature will do is constantly track you in order to provide relevant information and maps and things like that. But if you want your iPhone to not track you, then you want to turn off significant location. Now, if you don't use Apple Maps or Apple services, you can also turn off right here the product improvement. So turn these options off. As you can see, it's currently tracking me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And those four options I like to turn off because, of course, location services and things like that do drain the battery quickly. And I don't use Apple Maps or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. Now, there's actually two more options under privacy that I want to talk about. So privacy and security. Number one, if you don't use the journal application you can turn all these options off right here and or you can just delete the journal application altogether and this will improve the battery life of your iPhone as you're not constantly getting the activity media contact photos and all the notifications that you get with suggestion notifications right here with a journal application so if you don't use the application at all I recommend you just go ahead and remove it and if you do use it but want to save some battery life again you can go under privacy go under the journal settings and suggestions and turn off all suggestions this should improve the battery life on your iphone now the last option i want to talk about here under privacy this one is for the app privacy report you can find it here on the bottom of the list right here app privacy report if you don't use this feature you can go ahead and turn it off so if you turn it on it's going to look something like this it's going to have a lot of information and if you don't typically just use this information your iphone is constantly tracking your activities to give you a report on each application and things that you're using on your iphone sensors and things like that so if you don't want this to be enabled all you have to do, of course, is just go in there and turn off the app privacy report. And this, I also noticed, it has improved the battery life of my iPhone running the latest 17.3. Now, aside from privacy settings and features, I also want to talk about three additional options you may want to look into in order to improve that battery life. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is always on display. So if you have an always on display iPhone, you want to jump into settings, you want to go under display and brightness, and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find your always on display options. Now, Apple has a feature that allows you to show the wallpaper. So when you lock your iPhone, of course, you can still sort of see the wallpaper. And I've noticed that every time I turn this option off, I get a straight black wallpaper only with the time and date. And this improves the battery life slightly on my iPhone every time I turn this option off on my iPhone running iOS 17.3. So if you want to give that one a try, go ahead and try it out and let me know if the battery life has improved on your device. Now, the other option I would like to talk about is under sound and haptics. So right here, if you tap into this, you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have your keyboard feedback. So if you want to turn off this option here, keyboard haptics, this will allow your iPhone to preserve some of that battery life. Now, Apple themselves mentions that by using this feature here, 
your battery life may be impacted in a negative way. So if you want to turn that option off, you can also do so. And this could improve the battery life slightly on your device as well. Now, last but not least, let's jump into general and airdrop. Now, Apple has a new airdrop feature called bring devices together. So basically, you can bring two devices together to share any type of information, whether it's contact information, media, whatever. But I don't typically use this feature. I just use airdrop. It's a lot more convenient, in my opinion. And I've noticed that after turning this option off, the battery life of my iPhone has also improved slightly running iOS 17.3. Now, putting all these options together, let me know in those comments down below after you try this out, has the battery life improved on your device? I want to say I get anywhere from an extra 20 to sometimes even 30 minutes of extra on-screen time with these features changed here that I talked about. But I'd like to hear from you in those comments down below. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.